Hi, there's, um, there's no reason to watch this video unless you are a manic, chaotic creator like I am and you have a hard time sorting out your um, ideas and, and um, really knowing which ones are important and stuff like that. I've got um, probably a half dozen notebooks um, filled with notes and, and inspirations and notes. Um, more notebooks and if you've seen my deck of index image cards that I sometimes play around with those those come into play sometimes too so the the point I'm trying to make there is is, is I collect too many ideas and I collect too many um, image and story ideas and and it gets overwhelming and it and it, and it um, it stops me in my tracks and it gets clogged up in my head so eventually you have to make I do you have to get it out of your head and inside into a, a frame you can look at and get your sort of brain around um, and so that's sort of what I've done here and I'm just going to explain what I'm seeing because this is not a story this is just some of the notions that have stuck around long enough the ones that that keep returning that I see them in the notebook and I'm like oh yeah that one or I was hoping to find that because I remember it um, the ones that get lost in the notebook that I've forgotten, I just have to trust it's okay that they're forgotten. But the ones that got kind of stuck in my brain and then I went searching or maybe they reappeared or maybe I wrote them down twice and didn't even realize it, those are the things I try and keep. So what I'm looking at is a, um, I just wrote down everything that made sense to me and that seemed important. This section is like who they are. They're on the run, he got her pregnant, um, he has a boy back home. He's in the past. He's 70,000 years in the past, whatever. She speaks to him in signs, but when she speaks to him verbally, she is speaking this, like, she's channeling the future, but he can't read it. That's, so they, these are kind of like the setup things. Here's some things I want. I want them to... I know the book, at least what it seems to be, is like I'm really fascinated with what people worship and what people find important to attach importance to or symbolism to um and so i've got this little batch of things that i noticed um there's a they, there's a tribe i wrote down that they worship a wild turkey there's one that worship a piece of marble ones that worship some bones there's some that and sometimes it's about their rhythms and their behaviors too and so these this is um <laughs> a group of people that talk about suicide a lot um there's some other things going on in here um there is some points down here that I wrote down that, that I think there's an ending. I think it's an utterly weird and possibly inane idea, but it keeps being there. It keeps being stuck in there, so I think it's the right idea for now. He makes it to the beach, and there's a computer on the beach. And it's an old computer. It's like maybe late 90s. And he sends an email to either his ex-wife or his son, or his daughter, or somebody. And I don't know much more about that, but I just feel like that that's right. And these are some things I want to sort of get in there. These are like little dialogues I've written, maybe slightly a rant, something I want the characters to talk about, things I'd like to appear. There's this character, Finn, who I think is sort of part of the orchestration of this whole scene. Um, so that's what this is. This is not a story. This is, sometimes you'll see people organize these in stories. This is me trying to see, like, what kinds of things am I trying to push into a project? I'm going to stop there because the next step, I hope, will be to take some colored postcards or some index cards and sort of weave some threads in and see what happens. Hi. Um, so what I've done here, hopefully it will be helpful for me and for you. Um, but all I did is I took a bunch of little colored paper and um, wrote down things that could happen. Simplest way to differentiate that from some of the other things that were on that paper were, does it have a verb? And so, sees a turtle, sees a pineapple, gets it, eats, talks, sees, shares, rants, <laughs> uh, meat. I, you know, my stories tend to be pretty simple. It's about people talking and seeing and observing, but um, so there's a lot of that, but there's not 
Um, so a lot of the white cards, which were just things they might, things he might say, a character I want to maybe appear, some images I want to appear. These things down here I've sort of left abandoned. And what I did when I tried to imagine a story, when I tried to imagine a series of actions that lead from the, what I imagine the beginning to what I imagine the ending is, when something sort of just seemed like it, it, it was a good attachment, I would put the white card there. So I knew after he, she eats the pineapple that that would be a good time for him to say some stuff. And I realized that I'm holding on to this little bit about staring at an owl. Doesn't really matter yet, but so I thought maybe that would go there now. I have all these tribes that, that I want them to meet. There's a bunch that I just abandoned over here. We'll see if they make it in, but it seemed like I wanted to start small, a tribe who um, worship a piece of marble. Um, this Oedipus image I've been hoping to get in here sort of felt like it could happen there. Other things that are sort of random made its way a little more into a progression. What I tried to create is a progression that gets them from where I started, which was here, actually, where he sees a turtle. This stuff is backstory. Um, and I had this imaginary ending where he finds a computer and sends some messages to the 20th century. Um, and between that, there's a pregnancy, so there needs to be a birth. The birth seemed like, I wasn't sure where that birth would happen, to be honest, but in just doing this exercise, it seems like it would happen here. Um, so I'll take a good picture of this. Actually, maybe that's a good picture of this. This isn't a draft. Um, it's a sketch of a draft. <laughs> it might be a series of instructions to finding a draft. It might be a series of instructions. It might be a map. It might be however they go finding Higgs boson particles and stuff. It might look something like this. Like if we do all this, this, and this, this, we might get a particle. Um, but this for me has been very um, beneficial, even in the 15 or 20 minutes I've spent doing it because I'm literally feeling the story in my body a little more, whereas previously it was really, really, really just clogged up in there. So who knows what this will become, but I'm going to make really special... I'm going to treat this bunch of stuff in its current state and in its current um, succession pretty seriously for a little while and just try and do some of these parts. I've done a teeny tiny bit of this already, if I try and think about doing the whole thing, I'm going to get a little overwhelmed. I'm just going to, my next step is just to do the next part, whatever feels like maybe it will be the following part, but, or maybe I can just dive in and say, I really want to do this bit about the owl. I've been thinking about it a long time. Now I know the context. It's after, it happens after the pineapple. So I sort of know what, what their, um, what kind of, setup there is, what they might be wearing or how they might be looking, or where they might be. I'm really excited actually to get into this. I hope you get to that point where um, what's overwhelming you starts to feel exciting. <laughs>